Ooh, it's cold! Uh, why am I playing in nothing but my pants? Uh, uh, anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3! This is your host, MJ406, and we are now going through World 6! The Ice World! Which is, oh boy, dreadful. Just dreadful. <laughs> I believe this is the hardest world in the game. Although, well, again, preferences. You may think the next world's the hardest. You'll have to wait and see. Let's just hurry up and get a move on. Because I'm almost done with all of you. There's only seven Koopalings, so we only got two worlds left to go. Ah, take that, you bastard! I hope you burn in hell! How do you fall from the sky and break your shell? Fuck you! I'm kind of a dick. Doesn't matter to me. Oh, God! Well. I breeze through that. The early levels are easy, but just wait till we get to the middle of this world. Hmm, I wonder. Oh. Oh. Come on, there's gotta be something hidden here. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, yo, I gotta check this out now. My curiosity has been piqued! What new area have I never seen before? Oh. It's just dull and boring. Oh well. Fuck it! I can't get the five lives anyway! So yeah, it's worth looking around every corner. Pretty fun stuff. Yeah! Alright. Let's do the fortress again. Now for the fortresses of World 6. Ooh. Oh, this one's a dick. There's a power up here and it's really hard to get. It's easiest to get if it's a leaf, but if it's a mushroom, good luck getting that and then surviving. The Poto Boos and the Auto Moving Platform are dicks. By the way, ugh, damn hiccups. If you haven't noticed that flame, it acts like a boo. It won't walk towards you unless you look away from it. So, you know, don't look towards it. If you know what's good for you, anyway. Ugh, come on. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Come and get some. Oh, yeah! Whoop! That could have my invincibility. Or else that would have been much worse. Okay, you're next, buddy. Oh man, now the platforms are close to the ground. So, you have to be a lot more careful with your jumps. Not that I have a problem, but, well, stay on your toes. You never know what the hell's gonna happen. And that's another end spade. There's so many of these damn things. I could use my hammer to break up that block. I probably should, actually, because, well, after this world, there's really no more uses for the hammer. Sorry to spoil that. But World 7 doesn't really have much of anything going on in it. What am I doing? Okay. Well, at least I got to find that one. Ooh. Why do I keep forgetting that's the 10 coins? See, I don't even look back at my old parts. I just go one whole run and just blaze through it. Ooh, it's some stout German fellow. Just making sure the screen smoothing is not on. It looked not pixely enough for me. I want to see pixels. I want to see every single pixel on the screen. I must see the pixels. They have to be there. I have a problem. Whoa, God. Well, genius move there, Rex. Ooh, I like never go to this secret. What could be in here, I wonder? <gasps> ah, yes! Oh, yes! My childhood dream! Damn it, I keep doing that! This is one of the flaws played of the gamepad. Oh! What a nice sight here. Let's go! 
I now have another Tanuki suit. Lovely. I'll probably need this later. So hopefully I won't lose it on my way down. Oh, wow. I could have died. Whoa. Ooh. There's one up here, but it's probably not worth it. Ugh. There we go. Beautiful. I got a mushroom, but that's beside the point. I did it. And I got a Tanooki. Man, am I happy. Weird little raccoon cat thing. Let's try to go for yet another one of these slots. Man, I haven't won these since I got the two in a row. Which is really sad. Ha <laughs> ha! Talky bad about it got me a win. Yeah, take that, bitch. And see, you don't have to get maximum one to, to start the chain of going to the higher rewards. You just have to win. Whoop. And now, I run. Ooh, this level can be a little tricky. You got the little moving platforms here. Again, don't hit every block, especially if you have a Tanuki suit. Because you can waste your great power up and get something plain, like a fire flower or a raccoon. Then we don't waste it if you have a Tanuki. Because Tanuki's, like, the best thing. Ooh! You see that shit? Well, it didn't matter since I couldn't break the thing open. Ooh, I wonder. Oh, it's probably just a landing thing from being up there. Whatever. Oh, damn! I have two mushrooms! Maybe I get one more. It makes a difference of one life! Ah, so you're standing my way, are you? Very well, then. Oh, no! My Tanuki! You son of a bitch on ice! Oh, ass! Ugh. Whatever, I got a star. I guess I'll roll with it. And now, for the real fun to begin. Oh! Hey, they changed the route, so the mushroom house is right here instead of facing world level 5. Interesting, that's another difference I noticed from the All-Star NES version. Alright, I have two of those weird suits. I don't need them right now, though. Alright. You know what, I'll do, world I'll do level 6 first, because I'd rather say do this one next. Oh, I picked the wrong one, didn't I? I think I did. Oh. Okay. I remember this level. Alright, so level 6 looks like a weird... Underground water cavern! Well, you'd be right. This would be good with a frog suit. It would be. If I used one! Yeah, I believe this is the level. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It definitely is. Because I believe there's a cavern here that has, uh... Maybe I'll think of another level. Now I don't see it, I'm realizing, oh shit. This isn't the one. Now I look like a jackass. Moving on. I shall burn you. Ooh, I've been looking forward to calamari, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I love me some calamari. Oh yeah. I don't want my vines in it. What the hell's wrong with you? Vines in calamari are disgusting. That's like asking for seaweed instead of fish. Excuse me. Yeah! That's all three of the things. I got all three of the things once. Beautiful. I'm showing off things to be unique. I'm cool. Okay. Let's get rid of the other hammer, bro, so I can get him out of the way. Okay, I guess I can use a hammer for a shortcut. I might do that just for the heck of it. Even though I am going to do every level. I just want to clear out everything just to be a jerk. All oh, this landscape you prepared for me must be demolished. Oh, yeah, I'll use that too. Let's go to Fortress early, but first, this level. This is one of my favorite levels of the game because of the idea you have to go through to get through the level. It's pretty weird. Oh, yeah, look out for these little fake Buzzy Beetle things. They will pick up blocks and chuck them at you. Avoid them. Definitely avoid them. Because they can be a really... They can be a really big annoyance. You can also pick up blocks just to throw it against them, just to say, screw them. 
stupid piranha plants. Let's see what's in here. Huh. A power-up. Huh. Neat. But you end up back here. Seems like kind of a waste, doesn't it? Well, it is. Because the true thing you have to do to get through this level, stomp this Koopa and fly up here. Because you need a Koopa to break this shit open. Pretty cool, right? I mean, that sound angry. It's like, I hate this shit. I love it. See? That's what makes this level stand... This is makes Mario Bros. 3 stand out for me above Mario World. Well, Mario World, you could go through the whole game normally, and you can find secrets to get to extra stuff. Or skip stuff. This game requires you to think a little bit outside the box just to get through a couple levels. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Okay. I'm an idiot. Why did I think that would be the right one? Yeah, we're up to 80 lives. I got another fire flower. Good lord! I'm overstocked! I hate this! I need to get rid of a bunch of my crap now! Or else I won't be able to have any more items. I think if you overstock on items, you'll just not be allowed to have any more. Yeah, another two! I'm gonna take the easy route with this. Haha! <laughs> so we're gonna get a club next. I'll have to hope I get it. Okay. Yeah, I am running out of room. Just use a cloud and then go back to the level anyway. Because I'm weird like that. Oh, wow. Kind of a useless level for this, too. Because this is an auto-scroller. Also, be careful with the donut blocks. I learned that apparently if you stand on a donut block and don't jump and then go through a donut block, you won't land on the second donut block. You'll go whatever one you're standing on, basically the falling one. So, you know, don't stand on these forever. By the way, this game introduced donut blocks. Oh no! Looks like the All-Stars looks like the Game Boy Advance version fixed that. I noticed I was standing on the block above it. Yeah, they fixed a lot of mechanics in this game. You could you could glitch your way through All-Stars and Mario Brothers 3 on the NES, but oh I didn't even pay attention to that. This one they fine-tuned everything to be the way it was meant to play. See? This is why I call the ideal version. This is the way they wanted Mario Bros. 3 to perfectly be. You know, minus some of the easier things in the game, but, eh. That's really all upon, like, what how you judge it. These levels are practically the same from the NES and All-Stars version. Well, good thing they put that block there so you could get trapped. And see? The game knows not to take you over. Thankfully, they make it so you can't get stuck anywhere. New invisible blocks could be helpful. Oh man, we're blazing through this world too. Just so I don't have this, we're gonna use this. We go to the fortress. I've got a song to play for you, Mr. Thwomp. Run away. Ah, a whole ice-covered fortress. This one could be a bit of a pain too, if you don't know how to deal with ice. But the the design of it itself is actually not that hard. It's just the ice that makes it hard to move around. And your flops ready to kill you. But I will be cautious. Oh boy, more booze. I'm not looking to get drunk right now. I'm looking to get high, baby. I don't drink, I eat shrooms. We know. You also eat leaves. You broke my concentration, you dick. Then focus harder. I can't focus harder when you're in my way. Oh boy, one of the hardest boom boom fights because of ice and blocks. I hope I don't die. Ah! I died to boom boom, motherfucker! That's it, that bitch is dead! You're dead, motherfucker! Oh, I died to boom boom. That's a disappointing thought. Oh. It looked like I jumped on him too! But I missed his head, I hit his shoulder! I didn't know his shoulders were immune to getting hit by anything. Jeez. It's like he's the inspiration for the charging chucks. More like charging... Uh, bu bu bucks. Charging bucks. Barging bucks. Ha! Huh, there you go! What's wrong with me? Weird thing is, that name actually works. Huh! No secrets to find here, so let's just get the hell out. And now to deal with you. 
Let's go, buddy. Come on down. Thankfully, he won't fly here, because that would be ridiculous. Also, he's a lot harder to deal with at this level, because he moves fast and he slides. But he can control himself, and you can't control yourself that well. So stay in the air. Not exactly by Raccoon Tail, but, you know, don't be on the ground too much. There's another warp pipe shortcut. Which reminds me, I should probably be showing off where those all lead to. Just for a reference. Hmm. Oh, you don't have anything hidden. You dick. Ow! Hey, I want you to... Ah! I keep kicking you all to the wall! I keep kicking you wrong! Ah, I could have gotten a one from a Koopa shell there. Eh, no matter. Thank you for your patronage, bitch! Thank you for your patronage, bitch! Oh yeah, check it out! One up! In fact, I think he could fly here for something else. I just need running room. I can make my own running room, damn it! And I'm flying, baby! I'm a flying baby! Yeah! I found a nothing! It was just the one-up. Ah! It was over there. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. And now we're off. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa. What the heck is with this thing, anyway? Yeah. There's probably a one-up hit in there or something. That's my guess. But whatever. That's another set of five lives. I don't need those one-ups, baby. I got it all here. Mm, I'm going to need a fire flower soon to show off more secrets. Well, we'll probably get one here. Oh, I should have been the frog. Oh, yeah. Which reminds me, I think this level you can kind of cheat. Which I think they allowed you to do. Which is a shame that I'm going to do this, but whatever. It's more fun this way, if you ask me. I'm a cheating bastard. Oh, almost had it. Almost had it. If you can get enough running room to fly, well, you could say, screw this stage. You can get a, screw the stage, get a one-up. Whoa, he was running in the air. <laughs> screw that underwater level. I forgot the frog anyway. I'll show that off later. Wow! Wow! Way to go, asshole! You know what? Perhaps it's time to start showing off some things. Actually, I'll just go raccoon for this level, because I think I can get a fire flower in it. The last main stage! This is the only world in the game to have double digits of main stages. So yeah, this is stage 10. 10! This thing is littered with a bunch of crap. Okay, now to show off an interesting secret. You get here and you can activate this weird P-switch, which is flashing kind of blue or gray. You notice these ice things? You throw fire at them, it'll unfreeze whatever's inside, whether it be a nipper or coins. And for getting that, you get this thing! It's a hammer suit, baby! A hammer suit! My personal favorite suit in the entire game. This thing's a destructive monster. It just destroys things. You'll see once we get to the fortress. Which, yeah, this, this, this world has three fortresses. Pretty nuts. I said make sure I don't lose this before then. Now, excuse me. Aha! I get money for take dragging you to the end of the level, asshole. Ugh. Okay, good. I picked a good time to get a hammer suit. So yeah, there's at least one level in every... There's at least one level in this game that can get you each one of the suits. This is the third and final of the rare suits. So, uh, yeah. The hammer suit is a super awesome weapon. Huh. Wow. Can't believe I figured that one out. Wow. Can't believe I figured that one out. Damn it. It's basically Fire Fla Flower Plus. Let me show you as long as I live. Which I hope I do. Ah! Fuck! I really wanted to show it off. 
Well, if I beat- if I lose this level, I'll try to show it off again. If I beat the level, I'll tell you what. Ooh, this is one of the hardest fortresses of the game. It's so absurd with its goddamn trickery! But it looks like the Game Boy Advance version threw another mushroom to make, make it easier. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah! Frick! I really didn't try to die, it just happened. Okay, so let's try to show off the hammer suit again. Basically, it lets you be the hammer bro. It's awesome. Remember how those hammer bros caused death and destruction for you? How would you like to cause death and destruction for your foes? Come a little closer, buddy. It can kill boos! The only weapon in the game that can kill boo! See, the Hammer Brothers suit is basically the ultimate weapon of destruction. If you have a Hammer Brothers suit, you can just tear through this fortress. Just be careful. It arcs. You throw it like a hammer, bro. So, you know, don't screw it up. It also kills swamps! The ultimate weapon of destruction. This thing is the jam. Ah! Frick! Well, I probably won't get to show it off now, but... Well, if you throw it right, you can also kill Boom Boom with it in one throw. Throw it an angle on him perfectly, it would just hit him a bunch of times and kill him. It's a beautiful weapon. And now we have a bunch of platforms in our way. They even lower his main jump when he starts the fight. Well, screw you, you duck build turtle. That's what it looks like when I stomp on your head. You look like you have a duck bill, weirdo. Okay. So that's that. Hmm, what should I do now? Let me go with the Tanuki suit. And... I was about to use a mushroom. I don't want to do that. Yeah, stars aren't good for these levels. So let's go save this king who happens to be a Monty Mole. Oh, it's dead! And the king has been transformed! Please find a magic wand so we can change it back! Okay. You don't have to scream at me. I'm right here, you know. Hey, <sighs> my freaking ears hurt every time they talk to me. Okay. This airship, well, this is what got me and the Lazy Dreamers to quit. It's weird. The whole Lazy Dreamers banded for this, and we did it for Coda's channel only. I always questioned that move, but... Well... The project was originally his, since it was going to be mostly his thing. I just joined along to help. But then this game gave us all trouble, so... We had to band us four people to finish this one off. And we failed. Probably because I wasn't trying that hard. Because now I can do it no problem. <laughs> I kind of feel like a dick. I could have easily done this. But, for some reason, I decided not to. Yeah, and remember, because I have the Tanuki suit, if I so chose, I could freaking go into statue mode and negate all fire. Which, it'll stay in effect as long as you hold down duck. Once you see it flashing, though, that's when it's going to run out, so don't be in it for too long. Okay, let's go for this. Let's see if I can do this. All right, this is Iggy. He likes to ride around on a ball. So yeah, don't get crushed by your balls. Don't get crushed by his balls, man. They're freaking destructive. Yeah! I wanted my Tanuki suit, baby! I feel super powerful! Ha! Ugh, oh, I feel bad. It took me and the other Lazy Dreamers four videos that are about 20 minutes to get through this. And through one, about 25 minute segment, I beat it. Wow! What the heck are you? You're like a bear? Thank you, Kind Raccoon. Please tell me your name. But... I'm a person in this suit, you know. I'm Mario. Greetings, I am well. Please retrieve the magic whistle hidden in the darkness at the end of the third goal of the first world. I've enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toadstool. That hint was different, I believe, in the freaking, uh... Oh, no. I guess not. But yeah, now I got another P-Wig, baby. Yeah. I have a lot of those. I should probably use them. I guess I will. Maybe next time. 
because there's only one Koopaling left to go. And he resides in World 7. Oh, yeah. Let's get funky, baby. Let's get funky. Next time, we're going to get feel funky fresh. Uh, no. We're not going to feel funky fresh. But either way, we're near the end of the game. After this world, I don't know what's going to happen next. So come back next time for more Havoc in Super Mario Bros. 3's World 7. It's very planty. Ugh. There's so many freaking ugly snapping plants. What do they eat? Flies or do they just try to eat people? Aw, oh, Bowser, you monster!